now we are having k squared x minus 1 is less than the integer function k squared x less than or equal to k squared x plus 1. Now we will deal with the left hand side. That is k squared x minus 1 is less than the integer function k squared x. Now taking the sigma and dividing by n cube, you will be having 1 by n cube x into n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6. I am using the sum of the squares here, x is common, therefore x I take outside. I take the sigma from k is equal to 1 to n. And this side I will be having less than say 1 by n cube, say sigma, say k squared x. Because I take sigma first, then divided by 1 by n cube. And here I will be having minus 1 divided by n cube also. Minus 1 divided by n cube, less than that result. And now if you take n cube outside, you will be having here x, 1 plus 1 by n, 2 plus 1 by n, divided by, say, 6, minus 1 by n cube, less than 1 by n cube, sigma, k squared x. Now, taking the limit as n tends to infinity, and this will be, say, x by, say, 3, because 2 will get cancelled here with the 2 here. x will be there, x by 3, this will be 0. This is less than, say, limit n tending to, say, infinity, say, 1 by n cube, a sigma, k squared x. If I deal with the right-hand side in the same manner, you will be getting that is less than or equal to x by say 3. Therefore, a limit n tending to say infinity, 1 by n cube, sigma k squared x will be equal to say x by say 3. That is choice 2 is correct.